Now this movie, as you may have heard, uh, for some of you, in fact, some of you, I gather, you've even seen it on a small screen already. And so I wanted to come out tonight, Mr. Ambassador, to see it on our, our big IMAX screen. We have here, so not quite an IMAX screen, but we like to think of it like a comparison, I guess it is. But Embrace the Servant uh, tells the story uh, of two early 20th century scientists and a, a shaman guide who traveled the Amazon searching uh, for a plant with, uh, with healing uh, abilities. It's based loosely on the diaries uh, of two real scientists. Uh, the film has received already uh, universal acclaim. And I should tell you, this is on a personal note, uh, back and I'm not going to tell you how many years ago, but when I was a Peace Corps volunteer in the Dominican Republic, uh, uh, when I left my service after two plus years, uh, I traveled uh, throughout South America for about six months. In my first stop, I had enough money to buy an airline ticket from Santo Domingo to Bogota. And then I had an airline ticket from Mexico City back to Washington. Mm -hmm. And I started out in September, and I came home Christmas Eve, 1968. Uh, but I began the trip in Bogota, and I managed to get a ride on a plane, Mr. Ambassador. The, the line, the airline, was called Ario Pesca. Uh, and these were old DC-4s, uh, prop engines. And there was two pilots, a load of bacalao, and myself. <laughs> and so, I smelled like bacalao, codfish, for those who are not uh, familiar with bacalao. And the flight was from Bogota to Leticia, Colombia. Now, you have to be a student of Colombia to know what Leticia is. Uh, but it's a remarkable place, and if you were involved in zoos, I guess, or others around the world, you would have known about Leticia. Uh, on the uh, waters of the Amazon River, and where zoos throughout the world had gone for years, uh, collecting species and so forth to bring back to their respective countries. But in those days, it was uh, quite a spot. And, uh, I joined up with a Colombian fellow I had never met before, but he was interested in taking a trip as well. And so for the next six weeks, the two of us in a 26-foot boat with a canopy on the top and two hammocks with the guy who ran the boat went from Leticia, Colombia to Manaus in Brazil, about 2,000 miles down the Amazon River, stopping every night in little villages along the way, and then on down into Puerto Bello and various other places through Bolivia and Argentina and Chile and Peru back home and made it back. But the first days in Colombia and Bogota was a thrill. Other than the Dominican Republic, I'd never really been anywhere in Latin America except in Haiti, the Dominican Republic. So traveling through that Amazon basin where a lot of this film takes place is going to bring back some memories as well of those uh, days many, many, many years uh, years ago. And, uh, and what, a, what a, joy, a joy it was. I mentioned, of course, the, uh, uh, the fact that we had a great evening at the embassy not long ago. Uh, but it's also worthy of note that Colombia, uh, this is not uh, unchartered territory uh, to be producing great films. And the ambassador and I were talking uh, earlier before you all arrived about just what's happened in the last few years. It was not uncommon a few years ago that Colombia might have produced three, four, five, six films a year. Uh, today, hovering around 30 films a year. There's been a 500% increase in the last 10 years in the number of premieres in Colombia itself. So it's a growing industry. Uh, and again, the wonderful new prospects of peace and prosperity in the country are making it even a greater likelihood. Not only is films coming out of Colombia, but as I mentioned, the ambassador, a very close friend of mine, is a fellow by the name of Mike Medavoy, who's been here on previous occasions, has produced some 300, 400 films over 40 years as a career in Hollywood. He recently made the film The 33. Uh, he, uh, Mike is an interesting guy. He was born in Russia. Uh, his family migrated to China uh, uh, right about the time of the breakout of World War II. Grew up for a few years in China, and the only country they could emigrate to would be to Chile. So his real first language was, uh, was Spanish. Uh, he then went to the University of California, became a great filmmaker. But he wanted to go back and do something for Chile, and so when the great tragedy, uh, but a miraculous outcome, occurred a few years ago with those 33 miners uh, caught in that uh, mine in Chile, he went down and, and, and made the film. Most of it was shot in Colombia. And he had a great experience uh, going to Colombia to actually shoot uh, a good part of the film. So Colombia is becoming a, a venue for the film industry. It's a great place to be, as well as producing terrific products. Uh, tonight being, of course, a wonderful example of, uh, of, of those efforts. So we're, uh, we're fortunate to have all of you here to be a part of this. Uh, the ambassador has had a wonderful year. We first met each other in a previous life he had as the I think you were assistant defense minister when we first met uh, under Defense Minister Santos. Has been the chief of staff of the president, defense minister in the country. He's had a wonderful background experience in the private sector as well. Uh, when I look back and realize that he worked in the banking sector of Colombia, 
I wondered why it even talked to me after I wrote the Dodd-Frank legislation. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't think I did any real damage in Colombia to the banking institution uh, along the way. Uh, but obviously a very rich career in private and public life as well. And we're very fortunate to have you here this evening to share a few thoughts and words as well. Uh, but I just want to thank you, Mr. Ambassador. I had a lot of very positive experiences in my years of 36 years in Congress. None that exceeded my experience in working with the people of Columbia and seeing what has evolved and there's going to be a lasting peace uh, for the people of Columbia. We went through so much. Uh, I always used to be disappointed that not people were aware of how much people went through in that country from the turmoil. So it's very exciting to have you here. It's very exciting to have an audience here to witness this great film, uh, Embrace the Serpent, and uh, we look forward to your comments. Would you give a warm welcome to Ambassador Pusak? <laughs>